Yo, Gen Z Finance. What's good? It's been a minute. I'm sorry, guys. It's been like three three weeks, like a month since my last video. Uh, it seems like I just went a wall as soon as that at just started. Oh man, just just bad time and overall started school. Just been super busy with that, and NAT is absolutely just tanking. Like everything's tanking. Rates are tanking. The market. I mean, the stock price is tanking. Like, it's just not a good situation right now for NAT. Hopefully, this um, does start picking up. Like, the rates that they they do have right now, they're rocking, like... Yeah, like, $3,800 a day for each oil tanker Suez Max ship. Like, it is ridiculous. It is awful. It's been a complete free fall. I thought 9 was bad a couple weeks ago. But now it went to four, it went to five, went to four, went to 3.8. Like, are you actually kidding me, man? Like, look at the previous years, 2018, 2019. Booming, booming in this time frame. But I guess 2020, just, it's just, it's not the same year as other years, obviously. And we can tell that from every other business performance out there in the market as well. And guys, obviously... Obviously, we have to cover Contango. You know, it is not looking good for NAT. Contango is not helping NAT out. Oil is not looking the best it has ever been. And you already know, we're your best thing for NAT right now is to go back to those days in March where the entire economy was shut down. But no one wants that to happen again. I wouldn't want that to happen again. My portfolio is doing fantastic apart from NAT and Exxon Mobil. But apart from that, all my other stocks are up. 20 percent 15 percent i'm doing fantastic i bought a freya at around six dollars canadian and it is absolutely booming it has finally taken off because it is probably one of the best cannabis stocks in my opinion but that's a little off topic there but yeah other than that nat is just hurting the portfolio a little bit i did get a dollar cost average my shares down to 460 a share so i'm sitting on 650 650 shares now um i got the dividend it was i think it was 200 dollars around there that they paid me and then i just shoved it back into the stock to dollar cost average that a little bit so right now i'm not entirely worried about nat's like where it's at right now i'm not gonna freak out and sell my position like everyone else is selling like crazy because the rates are down like it's it's a like you got into this expecting volatility i was expecting volatility from the start and that's what we're getting. We're getting volatility. We're getting rates that are up. What was it? One hundred, one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Like that's what it was now. And now we're getting three point eight. Like the volatility, it's crazy volatile. Like that's insane. Like that is not healthy at all for the company. But it happens, man. This is this type of business. Uh, oil tanker businesses. It's all. It's all. It's all volatile. It's. It's. It's never a constant stream it's never a constant stream which you know you have to take into account before investing into these companies which you should have known and i did know that and i took the risk thinking that you know it's gonna it's gonna be popping off entire the entire year like everything's going fantastic but obviously companies running issues it's not necessarily nat's fault it, you know it's oil everything to do with oil demand and all that sort of thing so taking this into account nat's price usually gets fluctuated on the tanker index report that is released every friday so you can see like may usually see major major um uh, moves uh, in nat stock price on friday or friday even the monday because everyone's freaking out about the rates so that's something that really drives the stock price which is something that we you know all nat shareholders reflect on so saying that sorry i can't get these words out Saying that, we're seeing 3.8 rates right now for NAT and sitting at $3.50 a share. Now, it's a 5 PE ratio. All they need to do is just get a little bit higher rate. Just, just got to hold out, hold the stock, and the rates just have to make their way back up and do their cycle. There's always a cycle, and each month is better or worse than other months we know that from past performance and past experience and that's what we just have to wait for guys so right now i would never sell if anything i would buy get that dollar cost down 
I know it's not the situation is not fantastic right now, but moving into the next couple of years, they're gonna be debt free company. Like God knows what's gonna happen with this uh, oil situation, and what the hell is gonna happen with all this oil and all the surpluses popping off. Like NAT is gonna have fantastic year in next year, fantastic 2021 and fantastic 2022. They're already building new ships, which is on there. I'm pretty sure I saw that. Yeah, they're building new ships somewhere i don't know but i saw it yeah yeah right here right here i'm blind yeah two ships in south korea south korea and they should be finished on the first half of 2022 which guys this is good news like this they, they must be getting more ships because they're financially prepared everything's looking fantastic for the future outcome of like performance in the business they know that they're going to be debt free everything is looking fantastic for the future so right now it might not be that great but you know guys when the when there's blood in the streets you gotta buy when there's blood in the streets man it's what happens it's, it's what you gotta do trust me that's how you, you get the guap man you can't be buying stocks that are running up like crazy because you know man you're gonna you're gonna be caught on you're gonna be that one guy who buys tesla for 500 dollars a share you know what i mean other than that guys i feel really bad for the people who bought it seven dollars a share that's very unfortunate hopefully NAT makes super cycle move and it just starts booming so you guys can uh, at least take a break even on your shares unless you haven't sold already because I know I know a lot of people have sold uh, I've gotten bare comments uh, on my videos being like oh your portfolio is done for and like uh, oh yo sucks to be you bro I got out a long time ago blah, blah, blah. yeah but you got out of the loss man and I ain't looking to get out in the loss so I'm just gonna be holding because I ain't no short-term investor. So you short-term investors, you can do your thing and take the loss on NET. I'll just hold for the next year or two and see where it takes me while I'm collecting these fat dividends that are still gonna be paid. They're holding millions in cash right now. They're doing phenomenal just this quarter. It's gonna be showing up right now because these low rates. It's gonna be a poor, poor quarter, but guys, you don't you don't invest for every quarter, right? You invest for every every couple of years you're not investing every quarter you're not a short-term investor right so that's the way i think about it i'm so, like i'm not worried at all where it is right now it's done a whole lot of nothing in the past couple months but it is what it is you just got to see better rates you got to see what's popping off you can't determine a stock where the stock's going to go in its past performance and share price as well it, that has nothing to do with how the stock price is going to perform in the future in the present you know what i mean so that being said guys obviously i'm not a financial advisor i'm just putting out my um thoughts on NAT stock out there and my opinions um towards the stock so hopefully i don't get any negative comments saying this and that like you don't know nothing you're dumb bro what are you saying like dude like i'm just putting out my opinion out there i'm just here so we can talk about NAT stock together as a collective as the investors the community i don't want uh people who are out of the stock to just come and start bashing on all the all our all the holders that are holding NAT stock right now you know guys i guess what, what do you gain from it you know we're here we're trying to talk about the stock let us just talk about the stock if you of course put your insight put your bullish bullish insights your um, bearish insights on NAT. But just, just please don't just di diss the people in the comments or diss me because it just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't get you anywhere. And leaving a comment like that, just, it, just show, it just shows who you are. So anyways, that being said, guys, you know, just addressing the haters out there because, you know, haters going to hate. But <laughs> Okay, anyways, guys, please do leave comments. I love talking to you guys. I love responding to your comments. You guys have been great with the feedback. And uh, I'm sorry I haven't posted in a long time. And I will be back on the grind for sure. Yo, P.S. By the way, I bought Sirius Logic at $60 a share. Now it's 73. I'm up 20%. Yeah, bro. And it's unfortunate that he's bringing down those gains, but it's okay. You know, a Freya banging is doing banging, dude. He's doing amazing. Amazing. Let's go, man. It's been popping, bro. Okay, that being said, though, guys, please, please leave comments. Like, comment, and subscribe. Why did I say comment twice? But it is what it is. But you know what? Have a great day.